Enchantment? Enchantment! I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the Blight. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men, and you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus it is you who serves, not they. A good king, a true king, who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. If you live apart from others and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go, how wide they will become, how will they affect the pond. But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me, safer. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The darkspawn never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen, mostly. And sometimes I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find you still watchful, and I know you're watching out for me. What I'm trying to say is, is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are our, our leader and my friend and sometimes I think that m maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just flushed because of the heat. Really? N no one told me. You you felt the same way and didn't do me the courtesy of informing me? You made me say all those things. Why couldn't you have said them first? Oh, you... Oh, how very awkward. Oh, chivalry is so dead, making the lady spill her guts like that. Well, I, um, that settles it then. Yes. Indeed. Yes.
We must... Uh Pretty pattern. Immediately. Big battle. Greeting. Make his blessing to you. Some folks came in yesterday with crazy stories about Redcliffe. You hear about that? Something about the dead rising and killing everyone in Redcliffe. And all in are nearly dead from some illness. If there's civil war, what will happen to us? Yes? Oh? What is this about? I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. We have much to do. Is it true Grey Wardens killed Ferelden's king? They wait too long, trade won't come back. That's the way this works. Can I interest you in something? I've got the finest selection of previously owned armor and weaponry this side of Val Royo. Why pay through the nose for new equipment when you can buy like new for much, much less? Oh, here and there. Look. That's really not important. The important thing is, it's cheap. And just as good as what you'd find at a smithy. Oh, of course. And remember, everything's covered by Farin's 24-hour lifetime guarantee.
You heard about all those mages in Lake Callanhard. They up and turned into a pack of demons. You remind me of Lady Cecily. Who? She was an Orlesian lady. My mother served her until she died, and Lady Cecily let me stay instead of turning me out on the street. You are like her in some ways. You have the same poise, the same air of nobility. Oh, child, <laughs> I am hardly noble. I learned that nobility isn't just something you are born with. I have met nobles who are very petty and mean, complete degenerates. Then, there are people with a certain dignity and grace. He draws you to them, no matter who you are or who they are. I think the lowest peasant can have the most noble spirit, and it will always shine through. It is this nobility of spirit that you share with Sicily. Why, thank you, Leliana. It is very kind of you to say that. What can I do for you? This ought to be interesting. Such diction. This man is a true scholar and rhetorician. I am honored to be fired by one such as he. Good day. Oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a lowly merchant. Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the Assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. That's not right. Someone should do something. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Twice a year, I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very... closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. Best of luck to you. King Loghain will not suffer the- Vieta! This land is held in trust for the sovereign Dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin Idu can return to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden! They're sworn enemies of King Loghain! Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden! You... you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Trust Valo, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting, but your presence will be tolerated. Fair journeys, Warden.
Those statues are dwarven paragons, if I remember right. Man. The best of their ancestors. They say the Darkspawn have left for the surface. How did you get in here? A bit of food, my lord. Some coin. For the ancestors' sake. These are not your ancestors. You take the memory of our paragons with your presence. Get back to Dust Town where you belong, Brand. Or now I'll that's a thing of beauty, road. daughter. Snack. If you work hard like Blanca, all Orzammar oh. will know your name. No, Mother, no, don't I don't me. want to be like I her. She's food. Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Yes, Mother. They say the Darkspawn have left for the surface. I trust Vala, Warden. It is begun. It shall be done. As you say. Show respect, Surfacer. You're in the Hall of Heroes, home to the best of us. Paragons, dwarves who achieve such greatness, they're considered ancestors, even if they yet walk among us. If only we had one now. A unifier. A voice like that, there would be no dissension. Perhaps I don't want you to. A surfacer should not see us in this kind of disarray. Goodbye, Warden. I hope you're not needed. So, this thing you and him have going, doesn't that violate your vows? What? What kind of question is that to just blurt out? What do we have going? Yes, I'm that blind. I so totally did not see you ogling each other before. He was not ogling me. Was he? Was he really ogling me? Now that you say it, I'm not sure. Maybe he wasn't ogling you. I don't know. I could always ask him. You can't do that. Could you? You couldn't do that. I could, but I won't. Next thing you'll have me pulling his hair and passing him love letters. I... just mind your own business. How inappropriate. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You will not speak that way about the man who should be king!
Especially in front of outsiders. I'll have him in the Legion. It has begun. For a tiny people, they certainly build high ceilings. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit. The true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the Assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Yes, you should. Welcome to Janar Family Armors. I must say, you look like our type of people. Looking for a new set of mail? At Janar's, we have everything from leather to platinum. I, for a hundred generations. My father made his name by inventing a fold and tacit, which were integrated into the cuirass. But, uh, I'm guessing by your face, you're not a smith yourself. I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, <laughs> I cannot object. Of course, 
Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Shall be done. Ancestors guard my son, for he is lost in darkness. Mothers keep him safe, for you know what it is to mourn. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only Smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. The deep roads are where Darkspawn come from. They descend for miles into the earth, and we must patrol them constantly or be overrun. I lost my husband to them. If I lost my son the same way... The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by Darkspawn that way. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. It's been so dangerous ever since the king took ill. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The Assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Just as many say Harrowmont, neither are Paragons. And the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. I'll take your gold. You're good for that.
How dear of you. Thank you so much. Most kind. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Ancestor smile on you. Maker's blessing on you, brother. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. There is... resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. You speak as if these people have deliberately chosen to reject the Maker, but most of them haven't even heard his name. How can they choose the path of enlightenment if they never learn that the path exists? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. The Shaper of Memories controls the Shaperit, Orzammar's record system. Like the Chantry's historians, but, but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city, every property sale, death in battle, marriage, or divorce. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. If this chantry could help just one person as much as it helped me, it's worth any trouble. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. symbol of dwarven ale, woke up a week later in Jada wearing nothing but my shoes and a towel. I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? <laughs> so you come to Tapsters? I guess you're not asking for anything official or you'd be at the Shaper it, but I can certainly give you a mole's eye view. The nobles stay upstairs, except when they're slumming. You'll find the assembly there, the palace, the shaperit, and plenty of estates. Down from here is just Dust Town or the Mines, so my recommendation is avoid. It's not part of the city, just some old tunnels where the castles build their nests. No one goes there if they can help it. But if you want fun, your best bet is the proving. It's a chance for all the best fighters in Orzammar to test their skills. There's a tournament today. Arenas between here and the Diamond Quarter. With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Someone's feeling generous. A round of Valentus Red for everyone! This, my friend, is the Paragon of Ales. The best your money can buy. Enjoy.
Afternoon, stranger. You looking for a stool to share a brew? Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigers. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the deep roads more than two years ago. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. In dwarven Just take a table, I'll be right with you. They're everywhere! I can't take it! What? Get away! You'll change like the rest! Monsters hidden in all my friends! They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie. I... I told him I don't understand why the Provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no castes, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. 
Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. As you wish. I should have stuck to common nugs. Now I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they skitter. Common nugs? I don't like those. They look dirty. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. I guess I'm shutting it down. We gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Uh, excuse me, I, um, do you have a moment? What's this? A human? Did we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. Don't let the comm fool you. The Darkspawn are down there, aren't they, Commander? Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except to... Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Of course not. Down here you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm, and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. 
Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. I, for your sake, I hope you've no reason to come here again. Go on, I'm out of the nug game, got nothing to sell. Saraka, I'm back in the game, such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garrison's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad vein. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging, then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. I, of course we are. W -w -w Weak surfacers like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. W -w Weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, b -b 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 we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, and not every day, and not breathing the dust, and not directing the blood. Ancestors own bad luck. Right. Best in the trade, you know. I work the ore myself. <laughs> Most kind. You look like you're not from around here. Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Oh, my lady, it's an honor. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation and a great responsibility. I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. I, 
I want to go to the circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? She's so enthusiastic and adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. 